Dominant is exactly what you could call it, which, uh, guess what that means. I'm going to do it for the first time here live. Oh, yeah, there we go. Gonzaga moving on to the round of 32. Truly an impressive showing from the Bulldogs. They topped McNeese by 21 points and did so shooting 52% from the field. And get this, about 48% from three. Now that is something we haven't seen from this team in uh, too often this season. Graham E.K. led all scores with 16 points. He was a perfect six of six from the field. Owen had 10 boards for a double-double. Five Zags finished in double figures. And how about the game from the King of Spokane, Anton Watson, nearly a triple-double. So the Zags move on where they'll have a date with the Kansas Jayhawks is what it's looking like right now up against Samford right now. We're waiting for that final score. We'll have that for you in our show in the 10 p.m. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's live in the moment a little bit. Speaking of the moment, our Andrew Quinn is out in Salt Lake City right this second following the Zags. And Andrew, I got to say, it's hard to imagine the Bulldogs to have looked any better than they did tonight. Well, Travis, you're absolutely right. A truly dominant performance by the Zags, which makes it even wilder that almost every national pundit was picking McNeese State to upset the Zags. It was a probably the most popular upset pick, but the Zags made sure there was no glass slipper here in Salt Lake City tonight, and they made a statement in this one. And that was a big emphasis this week. I mean, we saw everybody picking them, and we were like, I even forget who we are, man. When we were Gonzaga, we win in March. Um, that's what we do. So uh, we just had a big chip on our shoulder, and I think that showed. It's just an uh, extra chip on our shoulder. It's a little more to go into this game with, and uh, ultimately that, that helped us. I will say that. Speaking of helping, and Tom Watson finished one assist shy of a triple-double tonight, but he took it all in stride. Yeah, it's all right. Um, you know, I don't want to get injured playing, but... Uh, uh, yeah, it would have been nice to get that one extra assist, but the good thing is we got an extra game, so uh, if I want to do it again, I could try again. And the biggest lift may have come from the freshman. Dusty Stromer scored in double figures and played exceptional defense, while Luka Kronovich and Braden Huff combined for 14 points in their NCAA tournament debuts. It's March Madness. Every, every kid dreams of this moment, uh, so super excited, happy we were able to get the win, and we're Excited to play uh, here coming up soon. It's an amazing feeling, like especially like watching it as a little kid and now getting out to play and actually scoring. It's an amazing feeling, and I'm just hoping that we keep doing that until the end. We're not done. Uh, we're not done. We have a lot more to accomplish, uh, and and uh, I think we're re really ready to go. Now, Travis, even in this game, Nolan Hickman, who didn't make a single three-pointer in last year's NCAA tournament, he had three tonight. Everything was working for Gonzaga. They now head in to a Saturday matchup with either Kansas or Sanford, and Travis, with a victory, that would mark nine consecutive Sweet 16 appearances, the longest active streak in the nation. For now, out here in Salt Lake City, Andrew Quinn, Crumb 2 Sports. Andrew, thank you very much. And for the record, we all here at the station picked on Zaga to win this game. <laughs> all right, social media going crazy for the Zags tonight. Everyone celebrating their dominant first-round win, which happens to be their 15th in a row. So let's go Zags. And who 